I'm Pete Murray. I'm the marketing associate at Firaxis Games. And uh, we're here showing off Civilization V. One of the things John Schaefer, who is our lead designer for Civilization V, really wanted to try were um, bringing in some of the ideas that the, the fan community has wanted to look at in the past too. Uh, but John put his own unique stamp on it. Uh, we have a um, very cool combat system in Civilization V uh, with one unit per tile. Previous versions of Civilization, you could put any number of military units onto a single space on the map. Now you'll need to think very carefully about how you're deploying and using your, your military. But there's some really subtle uh, advantages to having hexagons as well. First of all, the landscape immediately becomes more organic um, because uh, you're not having some of the artificialities of square tiles which can meet corner to corner and look kind of funny. So hexagons really do create a very inviting looking world as well as giving you all those advantages of, uh, of, of movement and location. There's four or five ways uh, to win the game depending on how you judge a fifth one. You can win a conquest victory, which is where you take over all of the enemy capitals. Uh, if you prefer the softer options, there's a diplomatic victory, uh, where once the United Nations is founded, there's a series of votes that occur, and if you have enough friends in the world, they'll vote for you. This can include the city-states. The city-states are voters, so that, that's important to maintain your relationship with them. There's the cultural victory, by completing the Utopia Project. And then there's a technological victory, which is to build and assemble a rocket ship and uh, take off into space. The game does end technically in the year 2050, and if nobody has won one of the four victories, then we have our fifth victory, which is to sort of win on points at that point. Yeah, we'll definitely be uh, bringing out additional content for Civilization V. It's a, it's a game that has a lot of uh, gameplay opportunities in it. Uh, there's a lot of uh, things that we can try with this, much as we tried with the expansion packs in 4, bringing new gameplay ideas to that. And uh, we're really excited about what we're going to be bringing out for that. Uh, Civilization V is for the PC. It will release uh, September 24th internationally and September 21st in North America.